Hello, it's Collector Sleuth, and today I have lots of Nightmare Before Christmas items that all came from Walmart. So anyway, um, except for this one, this this uh, ornament came from Five Below, but these two came from Walmart. So here's the Five Below, and this is Sally here, and she was about five bucks, I believe. And then here is Jack. Let's see if it says, since Hallmark branded, it doesn't necessarily say that it's exclusive to Walmart, but here's Jack, and then here is Oogie Boogie. So cute. So kind of simple ornaments there. Sally had just this kind of a tag versus the papery hanging tag. So their tag's a little bit different. And I also picked up this little, uh, now this is only a Walmart exclusive. This is a pop. I think it's keychain. Yeah, keychain. And a lot of times I don't even do the keychains. I just saw this in the Walmart. Oh, I just ripped it. Oops. Is it taped? Oh, shoot. Well, I already ripped it, so I might as well commit now. I hate that I ripped the box. A lot of people just keep theirs in the box and just lay them like that. Um, but I do hang mine on a on a hook and on the wall. But yeah, I hate that I ripped the box because now that the value does go down on these pops when you when the boxes aren't perfect. Anyway, he is. See, he's so cute. See, you got to see him out of the box. I get this off. This is a sticky kind of plastic. <sighs> My. I'm going to have to cut that off. That is really on there. Okay. So there's that one. Now let's do, here it is a do it yourself. Um, I guess you can just paint this the way you want it. I don't, I mean, it's just Santa Jack. It's pretty much red and white. <laughs> And a little black for the eyes. So not a lot, a whole lot to do here. I'm not going to bother taking him out of the box. I'm just going to leave him in there. And as you can see, he's just Santa Jack all white that you can paint how you want. And there's also a Walmart exclusive. Next I have are these Hot Wheels cars. This one is Jack. Now these I do leave in the box as I hang them on my wall like this. And so, um, there's that one. That's Jack. And then here we have Sally. And you can see it's her, the color of her skin and the, her dress there. And here is Santa Jack. It's got this long front on it. And I don't know what these are die cast. They look to be die cast. Not plastic, so that's good. I don't know if it, I'm sure it tells you somewhere on the box whether or not it's die cast or not, but they look to be metal, so. So there are those, and they feel fairly heavy too. Here are these uh, earrings. Um, yeah, they were only five bucks, go ahead and pick these up. I probably will never wear these or anything like that. Uh, maybe at Halloween, maybe. Um, might put them on for like costume thing, but otherwise, yeah, I'm not planning on wearing these that much. So they're just plastic, and why they made his nose green, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, they flash. Well, this one. Where's the? Oh, he's this side. So they just kind of flash and blink. Okay, see. So oh, wow, they do do some different things here. That's cute. How do you turn them off? I don't know if they turn off on their own. Oh, that one went off. 
Here we go. So very cute. And these are cheaper quality. I mean, it's like I said, a five dollar item. So. And then here I picked up in like the um, craft type section. These are just buttons that you can sew. So here's the the backs of them that you can just sew on a garment or whatever you want to sew that on. But the Sally looks really cute. And there's Jack. I don't know what the whole black on top of his head is all about. I don't know if it's just paint that's made its way up there or what. And there's a Jack head here. Zero. And another Jack head. So really cute. And they're then dress it up here. So. Uh, let's do these little plush. These are little plush clips that you can put on your backpack. Now this is a Halloween item. As you can see all the other colors are Christmas. This I, got, I did pick up at Halloween time. And these sold out. Like I saw them at a Walmart in Evansville. That's kind of out of my area. The Walmarts in my local area did not have these. Or or they went real fast and I didn't get didn't see them. But these I happened to be up in Evansville that day. And was able to pick, pick these up. And that was early on. Um, probably September time frame or something. So, so here's Zero, Sally, and Jack, and this is all the, the Rupo Res brand. Um, yeah, not a whole lot going on, just a little plush head, and these were four dollars each. Okay, here is Jack. A plush jack with the Santa hat on. Kind of a Walgreens type style uh, quality here. In a mug that says cheers and scares. And I thought the art on this was really cute. We got Jack, Sally, and Zero on there. And the little Christmas star with some you know Christmas type greenery there. And I think they, this is all ours had that I saw was just Jack. But it looked like they made other characters. I don't know if it was other retailers carrying those characters. Or if I just missed out on, my, on them at Walmart. But I really wanted the Zero one. And I couldn't find it anywhere. So I don't know who was carrying that one. Alright. So here are the snow globes. Also kind of like a Walgreens quality snow globe here. But this is the second year Walmart has done these. These came from Walmart. And these go fast. They go really fast. My husband was able to find these two snow globes at two different Walmarts. Um, and they only had one each left. I mean it was just... These are just go so, so, so fast. But anyway, this one I believe is the one that looks similar from last year. It's the same pose on the inside, but the outside is different. And so this one has the red brick with some snowflakes on it. So screams of joy. And the last year one looks similar, but had a, had a different base. I think these play jingle bells. Okay, so these play jingle bells. They don't play what's this. Or at least that one doesn't. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, this one's also Jingle Bells. So they do not play a licensed song. So that's interesting. And this is, oh, also Group of Ruz. The snow, uh, snow Globes through Walgreens are like um, Take Care brand. So anyway, this has Santa Jack on the inside. And we got Zero here on the outside with some tombstones and some snow. And I do like that they kind of keep these globes simple because, like I said, these are cheaper quality. The paint job is not always the best. And so sometimes keeping it simple with better looking paint, I'll take that over more ornate with sloppy paint any day. So um, so these are really cute uh, snow globes. As you can see from a distance, they, they are very cute. Um, display nicely. Actually, let me see if this had a blower in it. I'm not sure that it did. Let's let it settle. Okay. No, they don't. They don't have that snow motion thing going on that blows the snow up for you. So there's that to take into consideration as well. And I don't know if these have a price on them. Yes, $14.98. These are $15. So same price point as um, the Walgreens ones that aren't like with the figures on. the Wal Walgreens has two style snow globes. They got ones like those and then they got one where the, there's a figure next to the globe um, attached or whatever. And um, 
those are around 20 but they're traditional snow globes that look like those are on 15 so anyway here is sally figurine there was a jack it's jack with his regular suit on with a santa hat on last year they did a set of two figurines that were this year's set's very similar only well, last year's set i think jack was completely dressed as santa anyway jack was sold out and i found one of her and my husband found one of her which i didn't, I didn't need her already had her and that was it. That's all we ever saw these figurines was, I saw this one, went ahead and purchased it, and he saw one other, and that was at a different Walmart, and that was it. I mean, these things go so fast at Walmart. All right, she's kind of cute, kind of Walgreens, once again, Walgreens type quality. This is Grupo Res versus the K-Care that uh, Walgreens carries, but quality-wise, about the same. So, kind of cute there. Um, let's do the pop ornaments. Now these are Hallmark branded pop ornaments. So that's kind of interesting. And these were only available at Walmart. At first, these were really hard to get. I think I mentioned in the prior video that I didn't get these and, um, uh, you know, obviously I have them now, but they, I think had them on their website and then they had them now in the Christmas section. They might still have these. So if you're interested in these, I definitely go check it out. Our area had lots of ornaments. They just brought them out later. Um, so I missed out on the first group of these, but then they brought them even more out. So, okay. So this being an ornament, I definitely wanted this, even though I don't like to buy pops in all different forms where they got them, like as a keychain, as a magnet, as this or that, and it's the same figure. Uh, I usually don't do that by all these different types, but I do like the, the, the ornament. I can hang that on my tree. That's really cute. So, whoa, and they do not stand, so that one doesn't. Let me try not to rip these boxes this time. Okay, these are, what was that? I don't know what that was. Looked like something broke off and flipped. Oh, it was his Ooh, I'm going to give me another one. It was a piece of his uh, coattail. Well, that's what I get for being... Yeah, you want to be careful when pulling these out, apparently. I saw something go flying and... Yeah, good luck finding that, because a uh, little piece of coattail broke off. Darn it. That's a bummer. Yeah, I'm going to have to go get another one. Hopefully they still got them as of now. They had them not too long ago, so I may have to go pick me up another one since I broke that one. Oops. And these are about, I'm going to say they're about 10 bucks a piece, so that's, that's a bummer. I broke that. But yeah, you got to be careful with Jack. He's got a lot of little small parts. Um, he's got, you know, his little coattails, his little thin arms and legs and bow tie pieces and everything else. So he's got a lot of little, little pieces to him. All right, well, there's those. And yeah, he's, they're resin, so they're not plastic, which is less fragile. It'd be nice if they were plastic, though, because that would make them lighter weight. Um, I'd rather them just made them vinyl. He's got something on his finger. I think that's just paint. So there are those. Okay, let's see. Here is another. Um, I got a few number of Christmas bags. This one came out this year. It's also available at Walmart. And we got Jack and Zero here. Now this is new artwork. I'm not seeing this this style Jack before. So pretty much, yeah. And that, the blue looks kind of pretty. I mean, it looks very winter. All the little skulls are funny. That's cute. So this is an interesting, uh, different pose here. Let's see. They're doing a lot of Jack with the Santa hat this year. With his regular clothes on with the Santa hat. So anyway, here is an advent calendar. They did one of these. And these this was $8.98. And these may still be uh, left at your um, local Walmart. They had a bunch of these. They don't have very much now, but they... they when they first start putting this stuff out, they always have tons of this thing. So anyway, you can like 
count down the days till Christmas. Like so. Oh, and it's a little present. Looks like it's got teeth on it. That's funny. And eyes on the bow. That's cute. So anyway, so here is how that works. And there we have Zero with a candy cane in his mouth and Jack with a Santa hat. I think last year Jack was completely dressed as Santa Claus on this. So unless I do something super interesting next year, I probably will not buy any more of these because I've got two and they're very similar. So um, got this one and the one from last year. This, I don't know if this is, feels to be MDF. I think this is MDF, not real wood. So very cute. And then they did these things last year as well. I don't know if they did the big ones like this or not. I don't remember. Um, I've got them in a box somewhere. I've not been able to hang them up just yet because I'm running out of space. So, anyway, this says cheers and scares. And once again, like I said, if, unless I do something considerably different, I probably won't be buying any more of these. Unless I super, like, love the artwork or something because I got, like, four or five of these now, so... Anyway, we got Jack with his Santa hat on and Zero again. This one says Cheers and Scares. And if you guys know if there's more than two of these, let me know. Because as far as I know, these were the only two I saw. But that doesn't mean there wasn't a third one. So here's Jack with the Santa hat with Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Oogie Boogie. It says Winter Scarecrow. And this is more like artsy, uh, hand-drawn type. Uh, nightmare here versus like something more from the movie and then this year they came out with a bunch of these little wood tags they did that last year as well it's like Hallmark, uh, Walmart's doing like the same thing just with different art on it. it plus they add a few things and so next year probably be the same thing plus they'll add more stuff and then I think it'll just get more and more and more and it's just going to be so overwhelming um they're, they're what they make so much stuff for this movie anymore it didn't used to be that way but it sure is now so um three dollars as was these were and walmart didn't even used to carry not not christmas not collectible type stuff or decor type stuff maybe clothing and things but not this kind of thing till until last year it seemed like the first year they started that and walgreens has been doing it since 2013 2014 somewhere in there so they've been doing it a little while too so anyway here is but, but yeah, not for a super long time. They've not been doing this. So it seems like more retailers pick it up. Got Jack, Santa, and Oogie. And here, oh, see that this was another kind of little art they've been doing. Got Jack with the Santa hat on again and Sally and Zero. And this is shaped like a uh, ornament. And these are like a, a wood type material. These might actually be wood. This one's shaped like a, a tag. So screams of joy on it. And this one is Santa Jack holding a, yeah, his bag down here. I wish they would have kind of painted that a different color or this a different color because it was kind of, kind of got lost. So that's really cute. I actually just hang these on my tree, but you can hang them on um, the wall or wherever. Here is Sally with also Santa hat on. It says happy holidays. And then I also picked up a couple stockings. Um, I'm not sure how many more stockings I'll probably be buying because I do have some Nightmare of Christmas stockings. And I don't have to have every single one that they make since they make so many anymore. Um, here is this. But I thought these were kind of cute. Uh, $8. And it has Santa Jack. Kind of the same art as... Um, I think they're mixing and matching here. That was the same one on that tag ornament and then this zero we saw on something else I just showed you so they kind of combine two different pieces of art there they're really cute and this is like a reddish orange stocking with a black top it's got embroidered candy cane so yeah average size stocking where's the hanger oh here right there so cute yeah average size stocking here i would say and here's the other one we got jack with his santa hat on with sally and zero and some presents in the background this one says happy holidays 
and the back's just nothing there. And the same color tag or hanging. And then these I just picked up not too long ago. This is some kind of uh, glass uh, glasses, and they have these ice cube tray that you can make jackhead ice cubes. Let's see how to get this open. Is that, oh yes, it does. It just folds out like that. That's nice. I like these boxes they came out with this year. So cute. So this is just a yeah rubbery mat. I guess you fill this up with water and freeze it, and you got some Jack ice cubes. Pretty good size ice cubes. <laughs> it's pretty big. Those would be pretty big. Sorry. Okay. Glass cup. So here are those. You got lock. Oh, that's cute. I like this lock shock and barrel coming out of a present. See, why didn't they do something like that inside that Walgreens snow globe? I on my prior video because the snow globe was really cute and Christmassy, but they didn't do a very Christmassy lock shock and barrel. But this is so. This is cute. They came out of a jumping out of a present with some candy. Got a scorpion on his head. Aw, I like that. I like this. Uh, this art right here. And then we also have this Jack and Zero like you saw in the bag. And Scary Teddy holding a present. Cute. So there are those. Um, I'm going to leave those there so I don't drop them there. Okay, let's go with... Here are some tags that you can put on your presents that are Nightmare of Christmas themed. Here's to and from. And it comes with Jack, Sally, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and Zero. These are really cute. The arts on them is very cute and good for like a kid. Very cute. And I guess it comes with eight. I also have these tins. Uh, like I said last year, they've been kind of doing this kind of same thing here and there. Um, they did some tin discs last year, but I'm pretty sure the artwork is different. Well, here's hoping because I just bought more. So here is Santa Jack and Zero and Sally. And this one has Santa Jack, Oogie, and Zero. Oh, and the snake. Snake's going around there. Kind of like that, that border. That's cute. And it's actually raised. These are raised. That's why I kind of bought these discs because they're metal and like the artwork is raised on them. And then they were kind of really kind of nice for eight bucks. Nice wall hanging. This here is a tree. Um, topper of some sort. Tree, they're calling it a tree hugger. You set this on the top of your tree. Here's a hole for it. You can sit on the top of your tree and he can kind of just hang and put his arms around there. Or you can, they are, they have wire in them so you can actually pose them how you want. And I don't know that I'll put this on a tree. I'm not sure what I'll do with this because I already have tree toppers. So I, I may not need, need this for a tree topper. So that's what it is. That's what it, what you can use it for. And he's plush. So there's that one. And this is another stocking that my husband picked up. I'm not sure that I'm liking the face on this one. His eyes are kind of far apart and he's got his nose kind of high up. I, I, it's a stylistic choice, I believe, but it just looks kind of odd to me. And then here's his little hat. But I do like the... Um, jack uh tux bottom i think that's that's really cute and then yeah, once you unpin this you can go inside and this is the stocking itself is about an average size stocking and then you just add jack's head to the top of it so that's what that looks like and this is like a 
I don't really call that step. That's it. Kind of thing. And this thing is too, that kind of felt type stuff that you can buy uh, from the craft section probably. So there is that. And, it, and his tux actually is in a separate piece right here. So there's that one. Let's see. Oh, I got this plush. This one came out of that bin of plush that had like Stitch and I think it had Mickey Minnie or whoever. Lots of different characters in it. But he, this is Jack here holding a green present. And he does have his coattails and his bow tie. Kind of have a little cutesy look to him. And let's see. I also picked this bag up from Walmart. This is kind of like, looks kind of like the lounge fly style bags. Only this is, uh, what brand is this? I don't know what's the brand. Walmart. BioWorld. Actually, I think. Seems like Hot Topic carries this brand too. But anyway, I do buy the, um, if I get, you know, hot cash and enough, you know, discount on them. I do buy the little lounge fly bags. Some of them. Um. And this one kind of reminds me of those, but the lounge fly is nicer. It just, you know, you get what you pay for, and the, the lounge fly is nicer than this one. But this one's not bad, though. It's really not that bad. I mean, if you want to see, this bag was 20 bucks, And so about the half the price or less than a lounge fly one. I usually get the lounge fly ones for around 30 to 40 sometimes less than that even with the hot cash. So I can get them for about this price. But um, usually just a tad bit more. But this one, if... If you don't have, you know, available um, access to, to getting the lounge fly ones cheaper, this one's not a bad bag. Uh, <clears throat> I've not used it, so I can't tell you, you know, what the wear and tear on it is like, but it feels pretty nice compared to, you know, the lounge fly one. It does feel somewhat comparable, so... So it is cute, and it's got Jack and Sally on it, and I do like the patchwork on it. Just simple black and white. So there's that one. This bag I think looks better than the last one Walmart had, which I didn't buy. Um, that and it sold out. Um, I think that one looks ever bit as nice, a little bit nicer than that one did. So anyway, this my sister got me from Walmart. I have not seen these, so I'm glad she picked this up. My Walmart did not have this either. They sold out of it before I could see it, or they just didn't get them. So this was twenty dollars. Uh, $21 and this is Jack and Sally here on and this is a tree skirt So I do have a couple tree skirts already that I got from Hot Topic This one's pretty much plain black with just Jack and Sally on the bottom there But I do need a third tree now because my trees are full my nightmare trees are really really full And but I already have a tree topper so that tree hugger I'm not, still not using that <laughs> I do have a third tree top already. But anyway, this is really, really cute. I like this uh, tree skirt. Um, are my Hot Topic ones nicer than this? Yeah. But but this one, this is all embroidered though, right here, around here. And on our, and this is a different color fabric. So this one is nice too. This part especially is nice. This fabric here is kind of like, this looks like that... Um, Stuff you put down to keep weeds from growing up. Weed barrier type paper is what that looks like. Um, so, it, I mean, it gets the job done. Just put around your tree. The problem is with black is that it attracts so much. Like, you can see so much on black. So, I'm not sure how you keep this clean. Um, so, I, I'm not sure, how, you know, what issues are going to be as far as this being black. And my other Nightmare Tree Skirts have a lot of black on them. And you do see, like, you know, stuff stuff on them. So, but this being all, almost all black, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. So, we'll see. So, there's that. And, okay. So, we're getting here to the end. We just got a couple more things. I mean, man, Walmart had a lot of stuff this year. <laughs> and that's not even all of it. This is just what I bought. 
So anyway, here is this big Jack pillow. Once again, Jack with the Santa hat on. That seemed to be the theme this year. There is that. And they did come out with a couple Jack. And it was Walmart. It was the retailer for the 40-inch blow molds. I did finally get the Halloween ones, but I had to buy them off Facebook Marketplace. I can't find the Christmas ones either. They just either sell out super fast or my area is just not getting them. I'm not sure which. So... I'm, I'm going to wait till after the holidays to pick those up for those who want to see the outdoor blow molds. And yeah, it's just disappointing I wasn't able to get this at Walmart because it only retail for like 40 bucks a piece. But if I go to Facebook Marketplace or eBay, I'm going to be paying over double that. So that's really frustrating. But it's just one of those things because my area just doesn't seem to carry it. So, or not enough of them. And it seems like even everywhere else they're selling out pretty fast. Anyway, last thing is this really big. Um, they had a bunch of these. They don't know anymore, but they had this in a big bin, a cardboard bin with a bunch of Grinch. It was Grinch and Nightmare Before Christmas in it. And it was all these huge plush. And I can't remember how big he is. I want to say he might be four foot. Yeah, he's pretty big. That's fit. Alrighty. So there is that. Uh, that is the last item. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little long because I had a lot of Walmart stuff. And I will be posting more videos of some other things I picked up. So please keep checking back and please subscribe. And thank you for watching.